Given the following conditions, find the quadrants where the angle theta could potentially exist. We'll begin with part 1. Sine theta is negative in quadrants where the y value is negative. The angle theta could exist in either quadrant 3 or quadrant 4. Now we'll move on to part 2. Cosine theta is positive in quadrants where the x value is positive. The angle theta could exist in either quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. Now we'll move on to part 3. Tan theta is positive in quadrants where the x and y values have the same sign. The angle theta could exist in either quadrant 1 or quadrant 3. Now we'll move on to part B. We'll begin with part 1. Sine theta is positive in quadrants where the y value is positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 2. Cosine theta is positive in quadrants where the x value is positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 4. There is overlap in quadrant 1. That is where the angle is located. Now we'll move on to part 2. Secant theta is positive in the same quadrants where cos theta is positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 4. Tan theta is negative in quadrants where the x and y values have different signs. This occurs in quadrants 2 and 4. There is overlap in quadrant 4. That is where the angle is located. Now we'll move on to part 3. Cosecant theta is negative in the same quadrants where sine theta is negative. This occurs in quadrants 3 and 4. Cotan theta is positive in the same quadrants where tan theta is positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 3. There is overlap in quadrant 3. That is where the angle is located. Now we'll move on to part C. We'll begin with part 1. Sine theta is negative in quadrants where the y value is negative. This occurs in quadrants 3 and 4. Note that for the purpose of finding quadrants, Cosecant theta equals 1 over 2 is the same as cosecant theta is greater than 0. This is because we are not trying to get an actual value, we just need to know if cosecant theta is a positive or negative quantity. Cosecant theta equals 1 over 2 means that cosecant theta is greater than 0. Cosecant theta is positive in the same quadrants where sine theta is positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 2. No angle satisfies these conditions, so there is no solution. Now we'll move on to part 2. Cos theta equals negative root 3 over 2 is the same as cos theta is less than 0. Cos theta is negative in quadrants where the x value is negative. 
This occurs in quadrants 2 and 3. Cosecant theta is negative in the same quadrants where sine theta is negative. This occurs in quadrants 3 and 4. There is overlap in quadrant 3. That is where the angle is located. Now we'll move on to part 3. Secant theta is positive in the same quadrants where cos theta is positive. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 4. Tan theta equals 1 means that tan theta is greater than 0. Tan theta is positive in quadrants where the x and y values have the same sign. This occurs in quadrants 1 and 3. There is overlap in quadrant 1. That is where the angle is located.